Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we've been called in by the Ptolemaics on this war and we would love to take this territory for ourselves so we absolutely will do that. This up here we don't care about. We'll give that back to the Ptolemaics if we end up having the occupation on it. So for now we're going to head down here and of course we have these guys building their road all the way down this coast. That's going to take them a while. So that sounds good for now. Looks like the Ptolemaics are headed to grab this. That's fine by me. So that seems absolutely wonderful. So we're going to grab this fort and eventually we'll head up here and get that siege done. Where's our navy at? Our navy is grouped up up here. Okay, that seems fine. I'm not too concerned about that right now. So are we currently running our forts on high maintenance? We are. Let's turn that right on down. Beautiful. So that looks good, and I would like to continue to work on buildings up through here. We, of course, won a battle, and that's not shocking. I'm actually surprised we didn't stack wipe it, but okay. So we're currently working on mills here. We're going to need slave traders next. Okay, let's get that going. And Arabia Felix needs a governor. This guy will do. Cool. So we managed to get this siege started. That is wonderful. And we're just pushing through up here. We're going to grab this siege, but we don't care about this. If the Ptolemaics are in control of this siege, that's fine. We're just here to lend support. So that sounds good. I find it wild that they broke their alliance with us and then we're just like, yeah, let's be allies. <laughs> but okay, whatever. I guess they realize they don't have any other friends, which they kind of don't. So that's all fine for right now. I do want to come up over this direction. We did stack wipe that. And I want to get another slave trader going in here. We're going to need taverns here as well. So we're going to need to get rid of this conscription camp eventually. We're at 9 of 11. So this will take us to 11 of 11. We do have a free province investment. We should probably put that in. Okay. So that seems fine for now. I'd like to get another slave trader going in here. And then this is going to bring us to 11 of 11, and then 12 would be this tavern, and we'd have to rely on, like, civilization value. Now, they still haven't called us into that Macedonian war, have they? No, they haven't. They're winning that, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, that seems absolutely fine. So we're going to grab this location here. That's going to get all of this occupied by us. And then this, we're going to flip to the Ptolemaics if this doesn't be under the Ptolemaic control. Looks like it's under our control, but we'll be able to... Where are we going? Where? where why are you sailing to the Western Roman dictatorship? Also, Rome is split up. Sure. What are you doing, buddy? He's at 25. We're going to bribe him. Okay. Uh, we could definitely consider welcoming these. Sure, why not? Okay, come on back, buddy. I don't want you sailing off into the wild blue yonder. So let's just go ahead and do that. Perfect. So these sieges will be done eventually. In fact, I would like it if this guy would group back up, first of all. Any moment now. There we go. Group together and just come on back to here. Because we're going to need to pull these guys back anyway. These are probably just going to walk but these would be most convenient to pull back by sea. So that seems absolutely fine. Now, up over here, I'd like to get our third slave trader in. That looks good. And we're just going to continue to work on our constructions up here while also working on this road down this coastline. We have a lot of road work to do yet. No doubt about that. But we'll just keep those guys roading for now. A petition, huh? Hmm. So that's Mosh Hirkanos. Okay. So we need a new Scorn family. This is the same guy that we just fired. So we probably shouldn't put him back in. Scorn family would be down here. Okay, we'll give it to Caleb Hirkanos. That'll be fine. So we're 35% on this siege, and we see that they're doing some awkward fighting up over here, but it really doesn't matter. We're 28% on this siege. This is pretty much over. Perfect. So that is all looking very good. We're going to have a rebellion eventually. 24 months. Cults have been sanctioned, and we have a minor addendum. Yes, get that stability. That sounds fantastic. So we're going to put in a tavern here, 
and we're going to need to wait for civilization value to come up, but that is understood. So here we're going to need to put in a forum. Sure. We're no longer importing furs, apparently. Okay, sure. And these guys are still building their road, correct? Yes, they are. The road is awkward, of course, and the Siege of Hootie has been won. So this is auto-capping. We're going to come back over here and look to sail these guys back. Wonderful. Where are these ships coming from? I don't recall queuing them up. Oh, yeah, apparently we did. There's a lot of them there. I'm actually going to cancel all of these. Okay, hold shift to avoid it. Yeah, cancel all of them. We don't need it because we've discovered that we can sail through the Egyptian river system. So that is fine. Uh, I think I just dismissed one up here. Maybe not. Okay. Well, that means that we have a bunch of gold that we can spend, right? And I want to immediately come up here and spend that on a forum. So that looks good. We can also get another construction going here. This should be a tavern. So let's do that. Excellent. So this is auto-capped. That's what we want out of this war. So this is fine to all cap over to the Ptolemaics. I don't mind that. So now we're going to embark here as soon as they are in the port here. There we go. And we're just going to sail those right on back. Perfect. So that looks fine for now. We are still building this. Ah, Armenia declared war on the Ptolemaics, and we're now obliged to help. Okay. So that is fine. Armenia is, of course, these guys up here. We can see about attacking up over this way. I'm going to want these guys to make their way back quickly. But we do have this half. So that's okay for now. Now, Armenia didn't declare directly on us. What is their war goal? Phrygia Paroria. So that's going to be like out over here is where the majority of the battle is going to be. We can come take some territory up over this way and maybe we get the territory out of it. So I'm going to move these guys up to about here or so for right now. I keep hoping that we succeed this siege and it keeps not happening. Okay, that's all very awkward. Well, eventually we will get this siege completed and we'll get our army groups back together. And there we go. Perfect. We are going to head this way. Do we want to force march? Honestly, yes. But we don't have the invention for it. So we're going to need to move up over this way. The old-fashioned way. Once we get up to, like, here, we'll be on a road the whole way. So that is fine. But there's not all that much road work down over here. So it's going to take us a little bit to get up there. So that is noted, and we can definitely see that there's these guys here. We don't see any other forces behind them here. So I kind of want to go... Okay, there's an 8k stack there. So that's a little bit spooky. Our enemies... Actually, let's banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. So we lose half a point of aggressive expansion. This territory was indeed given to us. So that sounds perfect. And apparently, they white pieced this. Wild. Why would they do that? Okay, well, that doesn't affect us. That just affects the Ptolemaics. So they would apparently win this battle. I assume that is not the case when these guys arrive. So this is a levy force. We see they have six archers. They have three heavy infantry. They have five horse archers, one light infantry, and two supply trains. This is a levy here. Okay, I'm going to see how we compare. It'll be interesting. This is a professional force here. They are not moving in over here, actually. That's fascinating. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. So 107 discipline to 107 discipline. That's a good sign. And we have really solid counters on basically everything they've got there. So we just stack wipe that. That's a huge deal. Okay, so these guys, I want them to move up and begin a siege here. Let's see how we do against this slightly stronger army. So taking a look at this, 107 to 107. Okay. That looks good. 
This is definitely a bit tougher for us. How are we rolling here? Three to their four plus one because of their leadership. Okay. Four to their two plus one. We're gonna win it, but it's a little on the tough side. Okay, that is noted. We haven't put much effort into our military, so that is why we're having those issues. We do need a new civic researcher, and that is, this is a scorn family here, but this guy could theoretically generate innovations. And I'm gonna go for him. Okay, so that seems fine for the moment. Now, we know that we're incredibly close to getting this, right? We are currently 598 of June, so we're two years from that. Sounds good. Now, as of right now, I'm not raising additional levies. We'll see how necessary it is. Hmm. Morale of armies plus two plus 0.05, huh? We'll insist on including all offices. So this guy is going to be disloyal. Is he in charge of any of our armies? 42 and 33. Okay. I want to bribe this guy. There we go. So he's up to 48 now, and we want him to come up and siege here, and we want to siege here. Cool. So that seems fine for right now. Now, we're not the war leader here. The Ptolemaics are. So all we can do is occupy some territory here and hope that they give it to us. We'll see if they do. However, winning these two battles back here was a pretty big deal. I'm very pleased about that, of course. And 365 men are reaching the armies each month right now. Okay, that seems fine. So we're going to grab these two locations. We see, is this a Merc Force? That is indeed a Merc Force. Okay. Absolutely noted. So I want to head in over here and take a look at these cities. This is a 12 of 12. 13 of 13. Here we can definitely build in three libraries, which I'm going to do. That sounds good. So then we would be down here. This is at 17 of 18. Let's get an additional library there. In this city, there's very little being done. So we could definitely build a mill there. We're a little low on gold. I want to keep our gold levels fairly high because we're still working on building these roads. Although we can see that this main road has gotten a lot of progress for sure. Okay. So I'm a little concerned about this Merc Force coming in. We'll see what it ends up looking like. It's not high morale right now. It's going to take it some time. But I would love to see these sieges finishing. The Ptolemaics are fighting up over here, and I mean, they're actually winning that remarkably. I didn't expect them to win that, but sure. So keep in mind, we're two major powers plus our various vassals and stuff versus Armenia, which is a great power, but it's only Armenia. So they're 5,413 pops. We are actually at the advantage in this war. I don't know why they declared it, to be honest. It's not going to go well for them. We're going to finish up these sieges, and that sounds wonderful. So this is Memnonia over here, sieging this. They'll probably flip that to us. Because we... Or actually, they're just not going to finish it. Sure. I'm interested right now in getting these forts so that we have these two states under our control. Because I'd love to get them. We'll see what that ends up looking like. We're no longer importing base metals. Sure. And we do have this risk of rebellion. We may want to look at Arabia ad Sinus here. So this is in a seer. I'm looking at Arabia ad Sinus right now. Here we go. So this is definitely something to think about. We're on Bleed Them Dry right now. I think that we should change this over to Harsh Treatment. So that's now positive, and that's no longer going to rebel. For now, anyway. Okay. So that looks fine for the moment. Now we see the Ptolemaics catching this force with no morale over here. That's a very big deal. The Ptolemaics are going to do a huge amount of damage to that force. I was hoping they would stack wipe it, but that's no such luck. This is occupied by us, so that looks good. And eventually, these sieges will conclude. But it will take time. 
We never had a chance to resupply our food here, so our food capacity is very, very low. We're having soldiers dying due to lack of food. That's understood. We need to go foraging, but the siege has to be laid. So for now, this is reasonably fine. I do want to pop down here and spend a little bit of this money. So that would be like spending it here, most likely. Let's build a pair of mills. Cool. So that looks great for now. These sieges are eventually going to finish. We see this Armenian force here. It's not a scary force. And we just won this siege. Beautiful. Let's head up and grab that state capital. That will be wonderful. We'll grab, like, this one next, probably. Now, do we want to flip this to our Rados, or do we want to take this ourselves? It's an interesting question. I kind of want to take it ourselves. And then annex a Rados. They were a useful buffer state, but that's clearly not going to be a thing for too much longer. Is... Are you still at war with Macedon? Yes. Okay. That's probably why they declared it. Cool. So we should resupply some food here this month, I believe. Yeah, we resupplied a little bit anyway. So that is understood. I'm going to bring these guys out over here. Looks great. And now we may as well grab this. No reason not to. The Ptolemaics are going to fight here. There's no morale there. They're not going to catch it, it looks like. Oh, they might, actually. Yeah, again, no morale there. They really need to reinforce that, but there's not a lot to be done there. So this guy can cover the costs. It'll be okay. Beautiful. So we have a civic perk available, and this territory would gain a forum. I don't know what territory that was, but whatever. Seems fine. So at this point, I want to head out this direction. I, I just want to continue to occupy some territory up here, and we'll see how much Egypt gives to us is the idea. Now, there's this out here, which actually, I want to bring these guys out over here. That's a pretty decent territory to grab, too. So let's go do that. Excellent. And we're going to head in here as well. We can see that we definitely have some food capacity now, so that looks good. Ooh, look at this. That's their major force right there. And they're at low morale. So we can fight them here. They outnumber us two to one, but they have no morale. So that seems wonderful. We did not stack wipe them, but we definitely did significant damage to them. They no longer outnumber us two to one, that's for sure. We can come in and fight these guys here. We outnumber them fairly heavily. I don't know why they position themselves there. That seems kind of dumb, but okay. And we're going to grab this capital. Wonderful. And then we're going to grab this one, too, since we're, you know, right here. May as well. So we won this battle. No stack wipe there, but we're just going to continue to head into Armenia. This war is not going to last forever. That's for sure. We can see this is occupied by the Ptolemaics. Armenia is out over here with their primary force. And their primary force is a little scary. But, I mean, they're taking so many losses out this way that I'm not sure it matters. So this is an 11k stack here, and that's a Merc stack. They have 4.07 morale compared to our... What is our morale? 4.3. We're probably capable of taking this, especially with reinforcements nearby. So I'd like to head down over here and reinforce this, for sure. Okay, so this got held, and that's actually really, really, really good. So that means that we can... No, don't go there. Go here. That means that we can come up here. I see this 5k stack on its way in. They came in and attacked us here with low morale. That's going to go very poorly for them. Now, I want to come up here and attack this force that also has low morale. Beautiful. So we kick them out of there, and we're fighting again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, head right on up here. Catch that 5k stack. And let's eliminate that. Now, I want these guys to come in here. Because I want to attack this. They're trying to run away from that, which is fully expected. They don't have the morale to fight this. 
We can come in right here, but I'm not going to. We're going to come in here. We're probably going to want to do some unit reorg here pretty soon. We've taken some losses, that's for sure. But we've gotten significant gains here as well. So I'd like to move up to here. There we go. And then I'm going to put this unit onto unit reorganization. Oh, we have to be the owner, not just the occupier. Right. I wanted that reinforcement speed. For the moment, we're probably just going to want to chill over here then. And maybe group our two armies together. So supply limit down here is not phenomenal. That's understood. Let's head over this direction for right now. I do want to group these back together, and we're going to auto-cap all of this. Cool. So let's group these back together at this point. That looks good. So this is all capped. I don't want to do a siege. But we're just grouping back together, and I'm thinking about coming out and attacking here with our forces grouped. Or at least semi-grouped. So we're going to do something like this. We want to keep our forces fairly nearby. We're wanting to reinforce our armies for sure. We do lose some of our, our monthly reinforcement when we're on hostile terrain. But there we get scientific patronage. Note that we're at 186.84% research right now, by the way. So that's definitely a thing. We're going to take this. That's going to give us two innovations and sponsored scholars. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab sponsored research. We are now over capping our research efficiency, which means that we want to get down to embracing philosophy. So we're going to grab standardized measures. This is a long ways away, remember, but that's fine. I want to go into our government laws. And if we did sponsored soldiers, that would boost our research points by 20% and our national citizen happiness as well. I'm going to do it, but it's going to be a little bit wasteful. That said, that does drop our stability. We expect that we're still capped here. Absolutely. So that seems wonderful. I want to move one of these armies out to here. And we're just going to continue to occupy some Armenian territory here. Ooh. We're locked into this. Okay. We got to bring in these reinforcements. Ooh, hang on. We missed. We missed. Okay. I'm actually very happy about that. So that is good. We know that they're down in this area. It's a little spooky. And uh, we've got these reinforcements right here. So let's head down this direction. They're right here. Okay. I want to group these forces together. And we're going to chase these a bit. So we're going to come down something like this. The talk of Jerusalem. Okay, we gained three stability. Cool. Okay, so we don't catch those forces there. But what about here? We do catch them. Beautiful. Reinforcements are on their way in. And there they arrive. That looks good. They're capping back here, but they have very low morale. So that is certainly noted. So we're winning this battle. It's not the easiest victory in the world, especially... Well, actually, we rolled six to their one. That's not bad. Four to their one. No, it's the other way around. We're rolling the ones. They're rolling the sixes. Okay. Yeah, that, that explains a lot of what we're seeing here. So that was a little painful. We are going to win this battle, but it is... We didn't roll well. That's for sure. Bad rolls were bad. Now, I want to check in down here. Are these guys still building? They are. Okay. That seems fine for the moment. So we're going to win this battle eventually. A fantastic show of tactics indeed. And we want to walk over this direction. Now, we're very low on manpower. Well, not on manpower. We're very low on men in this army. I'm going to group them together at this point. We do not want to be split up anymore. And we're just going to go on the defensive and hang out in the territory that we've already occupied. So we're going to fight these guys here. That'll be an easy victory for us. They're low morale. And these are on their way over. I'd love to catch them. So we're going to look to do something like this. Catch this 2k stack. And we're just on the defensive for the moment. And just looking to reinforce our army. Our armies are a little on the shattered side right now. That said, we have won every single battle that we fought. So that is definitely something to think about. 
and something to celebrate, to be honest. So this is all looking very, very good. We see the Ptolemaics out over this way. We're at 22. The war goal is at plus 25 already. Defender controls the province. And I believe that we are indeed the defender. There's this out over here. We can't do anything about that. That's going to be on the Ptolemaics. We have lost too many forces to do that. So we can walk back to our territory at this point on the roads, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to pull back a bit. We are reinforcing by 1,125 manpower per month right now. Okay. So that is definitely going to be a little bit of a problem for us. We need to regenerate. And I want to go on to unit reorg for that. We did just lose our religious researcher, so let's replace with this guy. And it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see what ends up happening here. Hopefully the Ptolemaics consolidate their forces here and go deal with these mercenaries. Because that definitely needs to happen. Otherwise, they're going to get the war goal, which would be mildly problematic, considering almost all of this is apparently from war score. Or from war goal. So, uh... That's exciting, for sure. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.